Riverside just got a massive upgrade from brand new studio branding tools. Change the colors, fonts, even add lower thirds while you're live streaming. And speaking of live streaming, we have new tools for sending it to multiple platforms, stream up to 1080p, and manage all those live chats from multiple platforms in one place. Plus, our new Riverside editor has incredible new features like separate track editing, adding background music, plus lots of new AI tools to help you get your editing done even faster. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all the features from in-studio, like lower thirds and studio branding, all the way to the editor. If you want to jump to a specific feature, use the chapters right here at the bottom of the video, or you can check the timestamps in the description. This way you can jump to the feature that you're most excited about. And as we jump in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button because we have lots more videos coming soon that goes in depth on these features. And believe it or not, even more features coming very soon. First up, let's jump into our Riverside studio to see all the new branding and live streaming tools here. You'll see already we have some changes here where studio branding carries into the lobby for those on our business platform. Let's choose our speaker, microphone, and camera, and let's jump in. First, let's talk about studio branding. If we look all the way to the right-hand side of the studio window, you'll see the new brand palette tool. If I click that, you'll now have the option to upload a logo, change its placement, you'll have multiple color themes, and even change the name styles for you and your remote guests. Those on our Riverside Standard and Pro plans will have access to two color themes right from the start both the Riverside theme and the Newsflash theme. With our new Live Studio upgrade, then you get those additional color themes, plus the option to use a custom hex color for your brand and upload your logo or background image. I'm gonna go back to this prismatic color theme, which I really like, and add back the logo here. You can change the placement of it in the video, and that will be seen when you live stream to various platforms. Also, the name styles here will be adjusted via the theme. And again, if you have that Live Studio add-on, you can even choose a custom color. These name styles will also apply to lower thirds that you create and show as you're live streaming. I'll go with the bold style. You can also choose to fill the video frame. This way you and your remote guests will be zoomed in, filling as much of the video frame as possible. Or you can choose fit, which will keep you and their videos as 16 by nine, the full aspect ratio. And as I mentioned, if you're on the Riverside business plan, you can choose to carry that branding into the lobby. So even your remote guests will recognize your brand right away. Underneath that brand tool, you'll now see a new text tool. These are the lower thirds that you can show at any point while you're live streaming. Just click show and you see it appear here at the bottom of the screen. And there's even an automatic timer here where you can adjust how long each lower third will appear. If I have five seconds and then click show, you'll see after five seconds, it automatically disappears from the video. You can add new lower thirds by clicking the plus button here. Maybe you have a very special guest and you want their name and their title or where they're from. Let's say just by chance, we have someone like Ryan Reynolds joining us. You can also click customize, going further to change the size of the lower third. You can choose a light theme, dark, or match your studio branding color. You can also choose to place it on the left, center, or right. And you can add that automatic timer right here. You can click save and show, or just save it for later. You'll see that lower third is now saved in your lower third bank. Click the three dots and you can edit the text further, go back in to customize it, duplicate it, or remove that lower third. Let's test it one more time, clicking that five second timer. Let's test this lower third by clicking show. You'll see it appear at the bottom of the video. And again, this will go to your live streams. And after five seconds, it'll automatically disappear. And if you're looking for the media board where you can upload video and audio files to play live and you get anything you play from the media board recorded as a separate track that you could download later, you can upload those here on the media tab. The chat tool here will both have all the live stream platforms you're streaming to. Those chats will come into this one place and you still have a private studio chat that's just for host producers and guests. I'll show you more on that in a second. And then you have the people tabs with options for like low data mode. If you find that the call is stuttering because someone is low bandwidth, you can toggle low data mode on and it will help that live call. You can also expand each person, see their video quality and devices they're using. So those are our new studio branding and lower third tools. Now let's take a look at live streaming. You'll see here next to your studio name, a live stream off button. If I click that, you now have quick access to enable or disable audience mode. That allows you to live stream directly on the Riverside platform and do things like live audience call-in. I will put a link to the audience mode video I did down in the video description. I'll also link it up here if you wanna learn more about audience mode. If I click the gear icon here at the top right corner, you'll see I have the option now to upgrade to 1080p high definition streaming. That's a part of our live studio add-on feature. 
and you can also remove the watermark when you upgrade. I'll go back, and now we can add many destinations like YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or even custom RTMP destinations. You see, I've already connected my Twitch account, which I can even disable here every time I'm going to live stream here in the studio. This way you can select which live platforms to enable or disable every time you record. Let's turn on Twitch. You can also click the three dots and disconnect any social platform. Let's add our YouTube channel. After you log in with your Google account, choose the channel you want to stream to, and it will be connected to your account as well. And you can add all these multiple destinations if you'd like. You can customize the title and description of your live stream that will appear to your viewers by clicking the pencil icon here, adjust your title, description, and even set it as public or private. Now that we've added our destinations, once I click the go live button, we'll be recording in high quality video and audio and live streaming to all those platforms simultaneously. Let's invite one remote guest and then we'll be ready to go. I'll click the invite button here at the top, copy this guest link, and send that to someone, and they can tune in from their iPhone or Android, even iPad devices using the Riverside app, or visit that link in Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge web browsers. And now we have our guest joining us. You'll see his lower third name badge matches the studio branding, and we're ready to live stream. I'll click the go live button here at the bottom, and now we're about to record in high quality and live stream to all those various social platforms. Remember, you get separate locally recorded tracks for you and every remote guest. That means high quality video and uncompressed wave audio that you could download separately later. And you're live streaming to the platforms we just set up. If we want to see those live streams as they're broadcasting, I can click the live record button up here and then click on any of these preview options to see it on that platform. For instance, I'll click the Twitch icon and here we are live streaming to the Twitch platform. We can also preview that YouTube channel. Clicking the YouTube icon here, it'll load that live stream here on YouTube. Now, when people start interacting with the live chats on the various platforms, we're gonna see them all in one place in our new OmniChat feature. For instance, if someone is here watching the live stream, you'll actually see a two badge on that chat window. So if I navigate there, I can go to my live stream chat and I'll see the comments coming in from different platforms. Not only that, but a little badge will tell me what platform it came from. If I want, I can also show this live chat on screen while we're broadcasting. I'll click show on stream and you see that comment showed up with the first initial or profile image of the person that left the comment. And after 10 seconds, then it will automatically hide or I can manually hide it as well. You can also click the clock icon under the comment to choose how long you want this comment to appear. You'll see under the comment, the platform where it came from. You'll see here Twitch at 8.28 AM. And this one came from Riverside, someone watching in audience mode. Now you can manage all those chats in one place. And if I type a message here and send it, it will actually go to all those platforms at the same time. For instance, I said, thanks everyone for watching. Here it is in the Riverside audience mode. And here on Twitch, you see it says, thanks everyone for watching. And don't forget, we can still show those lower thirds by going to the text tool here on the right. Maybe we wanna advertise a new movie that our friend Ryan is gonna be in. I'll type it in real quick and we can even do this live as we're broadcasting. I'll click customize, show for five seconds and then save and show. You see here it is on Twitch and after those five seconds, it's automatically gonna disappear. Of course, while we're recording, we still have access to our media board where I can click that, show different video clips, maybe a countdown video if you're doing a webinar or a live conference event. Click that back into preview to hide it. And remember you get those all recorded as separate tracks and it will be going to the live stream. You can share your screen to make even more visually engaging content. And if you're on the Riverside business platform, you can go to the presentation tool and then upload a keynote PowerPoint or PDF where you can control the slides or even give a remote guest control over those slides as well. When you're done live streaming and recording, we'll just hit the stop button down here at the bottom. Once you click stop, the live streams to those various platforms, YouTube, Twitch, or whatever destinations you chose will end and those recording files will be uploaded both for you and your remote guests. You'll see all the files were now successfully uploaded and I can click view recordings to see them in my Riverside studio. Back in our studio, before we jump into the editor, you'll see a new AI voice tool right here. When I click that, this can actually generate audio in my voice because it's trained on the different recordings here in my studio, and I can insert this into other recordings. Maybe there was a sponsor break or another moment where you needed to add a little more content or change something you said. Generating these audio files via text-to-speech makes it easy if you don't have access to your microphone or being able to record. Just type in some text, click Generate AI Voice, and in a few moments, you'll get an audio file in your voice that you can insert into any edit you want later. Here's a clip of my voice that was generated using Riverside AI Voice. This week, Apple is announcing new iPads alongside an updated Magic Keyboard. Pretty incredible, right? 
Now let's jump into one of our recordings to see even more features. Here on the recordings page, don't forget you can generate AI show notes right here and you get a summary, keywords, which is great to copy and paste into the tags for a YouTube video, bullet point takeaways, some titles, and you even get sound bites and chapter markers. I can collapse my AI show notes and maybe I wanna generate some magic clips. If I click that, this will create vertical video clips from my long form content, which makes it easy to share on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram Reels. And after just a few moments, I have access to all of those as well. And of course, below that, you can download the high quality raw video files and raw uncompressed wave audio and edit it however you would like. But the real power comes in the new Riverside editor. Let's click the edit button in the top right corner and create a new edit. There are many tools here now available to you, but let's start with background music. We know many of you have requested this feature and you can now add music to the beginning or any point of your recording. Here in the timeline, I can click add music and you have several options. You can choose from our royalty-free stock audio library, preview them here, or upload your own music here. Let's start with this stock track and then we'll upload our own in a moment. Once I click the plus button, you'll now see that audio track is underneath the video track here in the timeline. If I want, I can drag this all the way to the beginning and now we have intro music for our podcast. I can zoom in, change the in and out points, and if I click the three dots here, I can choose things like volume and effects, maybe lower the volume, make sure it's underneath you and your other hosts, or you can turn on our auto duck feature, which will automatically lower the volume when there's someone speaking. You can also replace this audio track quickly if you wanna upload something yourself or choose something else from the music library. Now, maybe you have a short video clip as an intro or something you wanna add before the actual content starts. Well, now when you click the plus button at the far left of the timeline, not only can you add another recording in your studio, like an intro, upload a video file, you can also add an empty section. That means I can now drag the intro music even farther to the left so now there's music under an empty section and then it goes into our content. And because we have an empty section, now we can use our overlay tools like our image overlays and text overlays to create a quick intro all right here in the Riverside editor. I can search our royalty-free image library. I've chosen this image and I can quickly have it fill the frame by clicking these arrows here, change the opacity, and then add things like text overlays. Maybe the title of this episode. I can drag the title around the frame. And now we have an intro clip we created right here in the Riverside editor. And I wanna make sure that title comes off screen by the time our videos are shown. I'll click the title here, change the out point. And now when I preview this, you see the image and title, and then it goes directly to our video. And the audio was playing in the background the whole time. Here's what it looks like. Hello and welcome to Movies on the Side. This is Steven Robles. And this is Nate Baranowski. So now we have background music, a little intro image and title, and we did that all right here in Riverside. Let's say I wanna add music to another part of this recording. Well, I'll move the playhead somewhere else, and an easy way to insert text, videos, or more is actually selecting text here in the transcript, and then you'll see a little window pop up. Not only can you delete this content, which will actually edit out the audio and video, I can mute this part of the recording. I can also click the three dots and have access to add chapters, create a new edit just from this. But if I click the add tool here, I can add a text overlay, music, image, or my own custom upload, and it will just be the length of the text I selected. I'll click uploads now because I can choose audio that I uploaded custom to my Riverside studio. You see I have many tracks here and I'll choose this royalty free track I got from Epidemic Sound. This is actually a three minute clip so you'll see it is much longer here in the timeline. But I can still click and drag the in and out points, adjust the length of that background music and let's preview it. I did not like it. So let me click the three dots, volume and effects. Let's lower this volume significantly. And so now we have background music anywhere in our recording that we'd like. Now, not only can we adjust the volume of the background music, but we also have separate track editing here in Riverside. I'll click our expand tracks tool, and now I can zoom in to any of my remote guests or myself and actually adjust the volume or mute parts of their track where they weren't speaking. For instance, I'll click the magic tool icon here, and I can choose magic audio, which will enhance it, make any microphone sound studio quality, or I can apply magic mute. Magic mute will find all the parts of the track where they're not talking, and immediately cut them. You'll see all those parts disappeared from that track. I can also zoom in, and if I need to make granular edits here, I can click and drag the in and out points around any of these audio clips. This way, all the cuts sound smooth and natural. I can apply Magic Mute to this track as well. If I'd like, I can mute the entire track, and I can also adjust the volume per track. I can change the percentage volume for Nate's track, or go over into my track and adjust my volume separately. So now you can adjust those volume levels before you export right here in the editor. You can also choose to solo one of the speakers if you wanna make more granular changes or just preview their track. 
And speaking of magic tools, if I go up to the AI tools here in the top right corner, you'll see we have many more tools now available to you. Set pace can actually remove amounts of silence across the entire track. Maybe you had some pauses, someone had to get up. Just click apply and it'll tell you how many pauses are removed and how much time is saved. Crank this up to make it even faster paced, which is great for social media vertical videos. Going back to the AI tools, you can remove all the filler words in a recording with our smooth speech feature. And of course you can apply magic mute to all tracks at once or magic audio to all tracks at the same time. Underneath AI tools, you can click the brand icon, choose logos, like maybe the podcast artwork. Let's choose that background image and you'll see it appear behind our video there. And I chose to put a little spacing in between our video frames and around the corners. So you see that background image there. We can add animated captions, which we have lots of styles to choose from. And once you've added it to your video, you can change the text, the size, and even the animation style. I actually like the boxed animation style, orange highlight, and you can see what that looks like here. And remember, you can add those text overlays whenever you'd like. Maybe there's a website you like to highlight or a sponsor. I can add those overlays, adjust their length right here above the timeline. You can still add image overlays, both royalty-free images or upload your own images, even like full screen slides. You can resize the images, move it around the frame and more. And of course we have our auto-generated chapter markers here, which you can then copy and paste that, which is great for a YouTube video description. You can remove a chapter or even delete the content within the chapter by choosing that. Rename your chapters here. Or if you'd like to add a chapter, just click anywhere in the transcript you have here or select text, then click the three dots to add a new chapter here. When you want to copy those chapter markers, just click the three dots, copy chapters list, and then paste that in your YouTube description. Or you can even download or copy the full transcript here after you've made the edits. Don't forget you can search the transcript to find places to quickly edit. And you'll see all the results both here in the transcript, scrub between them. And you'll also see them highlighted here in the timeline with who spoke it, a timestamp and the context. You'll also see sometimes in the transcript that there's text indented. This is actually crosstalk where someone spoke over the primary speaker. Now, if you select that text, you can actually mute the crosstalk. This way you can understand and hear the primary speaker without those distractions. Choose who it is you're trying to mute and they'll make your recording even cleaner. And you still have the tools you know and love like reformatting your video into a vertical nine by 16 quickly and easily or go with a one by one square. If you're editing audio only content, we have our new canvas tool here where you can show a canvas, then you can add your animated captions, text and image overlays, which is great for creating audiograms. You can also share a preview of what you're working on by clicking the share button here and copying that link. And when you're ready to export, click the export button in the top right corner. You can export up to 4K video. If you've already adjusted the volume, you might wanna leave normalize unchecked so it retains your changes. Or if you didn't adjust any volume, but you wanna make sure it's all the same, you can toggle that on and then click export video. And if you want an audio only version for your podcast host, you can choose keep editing. It'll retain all the changes you just made, including text and image overlays, the background audio, your background music and more. And you can go back up to the export window, go over to audio only, export an MP3, normalizing audio levels, and now you can export your audio as well. So those are some of the massive changes both to the Riverside Studio and live streaming tools and the Riverside Editor. We believe these tools will make it possible for even more people to create engaging content all right here in Riverside with ready to publish content, both for your video podcast, talking head content, webinars, and more, and give you powerful tools to live stream and broadcast whenever you'd like. If you have any questions about Riverside or any of these features, leave comments below this video. I'll answer you there. And again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button because yes, we even have more features coming very soon and I'd love to show you right here on the channel. If you wanna learn how to create engaging live streams with our new tools, I'll put a video about that right up here. And now hopefully that you feel confident in creating video content or a podcast, I have a video right here that talks about the importance of putting your podcast via video on YouTube for discovery to help you grow your audience. You can check that out right up here. The links are in the description. We hope you enjoy all these new Riverside tools and features because we can't wait to see what you create.